Mary Sky 9 captures tens of thousands of people scattering, running for their lives after shots ring out at the annual 420 rally at Civic Center Park downtown. Niners reporter Todd Walker was just blocks away when the shooting began, and he's live downtown again tonight. Todd, we have now learned that three people were hurt. Yeah, within the last couple of hours, we learned that a third person was injured in that shooting. We're told they're under the age of 18. They were just grazed by the bullets, so they were okay enough that they walked themselves to the hospital. Police tell us all three people are, uh, they have non life threatening injuries, so they should be okay. Regardless, though, this was not the way today was supposed to go. <coughs> Even through all the smoke, at Civic Center Park, you can tell there is something in the air. But it's all about Denver for the day. Beautiful out here. I love it. Like, oh my gosh, somebody, like in the park, you were all just getting high. Like, yeah. A sense of excitement. 420. 420, yeah, yeah. That nothing can ruin this historic day. We came all the way from Atlantic City just for this. Even the officers and everyone else are more, you know, they got other things to worry about other than dealing with the potheads that are sitting here getting high and eating food, you know? That's pretty much what everyone does. But it doesn't take long for the air to clear, and that sense of excitement turns to panic. Just gunshots went off four or five, like pop, 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 pop. Everyone just ran. And this lady, this girl actually got shot in the ankle. A crowd of tens of thousands gathered for a peaceful rally. Strangers celebrating something in common. Yeah, I was halfway apart, uh, across the park when it, I heard the gunshots, ran across because I have advanced first aid. It didn't take long for those strangers to have another thing in common. Oh, my homeboy got shot. How bad is it? They were all survivors. Because everyone was trying to get over that green fence and they, everyone just jumped over there, got over there. So now that the smoke and the panic has cleared, What's in the air is something completely different. It's a sad thing, you know, because it's a good cause. You know, we're, you know, that's not what it's about. You know, it's a real sad thing. You know. So police know that there were a lot of people with cameras in the area this evening when the shooting happened. So they want you to take a look at this description and see if anyone in your photos matches it. They're looking for one black man, about six feet tall, 180 pounds, wearing a gray hoodie and a blue North Carolina hat. There's a second suspect. This is a more of a vague description. Another black man wearing a black and white checkered shirt. If you have any information, call police. Police really want to speak to anyone who was in the area at the time of this shooting. A lot of people scattered, but a lot of people taking video, taking photos, and they want to see those. Those photos to see uh, if you can, if you caught the suspects in your camera as they were fleeing the area. 420 events were supposed to continue tomorrow. Mark, those have been canceled. I know a lot of people said they were just as terrified by that huge crowd all running in one direction as they were by the shots that were fired behind them. Absolutely. I talked to people who were slammed up against barriers as people were trying to get away. A lot of people didn't hear the shots. They just saw this crush of people coming towards them. It was lucky that no one uh, was seriously hurt or trampled as people were running away. There were tens of thousands of people here. No question. Todd Walker reporting live downtown. Todd, thank you. By the way, we had several viewers contact us about white flashes seen from the stage of the amphitheater at Civic Center Park about the same time people started running. As you can see, this is quite a distance from where the center of activity is as people start dispersing. We showed the video to Denver Police tonight. They confirm those flashes have nothing to do with the shooting incident itself. Denver Police say they don't have any numbers, by the way, for how many people were cited for marijuana-related issues. They expect to have that tally by tomorrow at the latest. The CU Boulder campus has in the past been known for its large crowds celebrating 420, but this afternoon it was a picture of a deserted Norland quad that caught everyone's attention. The CU police tweeted this out just before 430. Police closed down that area this afternoon. Two students were ticketed for public marijuana use near Baker Hall. For the second year on this date, the campus was open only to students, faculty, and staff.